Hi guys, welcome back to part three of my entertainment walls video. We were working on this one last with the uh, wood planks, rustic wood planks all the way up. Now we're working over here and here. Today, we're, what I've done here is I've moved my screen closest to the wall that I can, right behind here. And I actually screwed up a sample of that stack stone faux stack stone so I know how close to get up against that without the screen hitting as it goes up and down so we got that situated I had to get the projector refocus pulled that in closer to the screen as well and now we've got a nice clean picture on there at a closer distance to the wall so that that wall will be very close when you walk around by there there'll be no end tables no coffee table below it it's just gonna be stacked stone wall lit up with some lighted spotlights when the projector screen is up. So now we're gonna start doing the framing for the faux beams for when they come in later on this month or next month. And we're gonna have the uh, framing up over the projector here that the faux beams will screw to and we'll get the faux uh, or the framing for the faux beams on this one too across the top of that fireplace wall. We're also gonna add an outlet down here uh, or take off of an outlet down here and put a double outlet up here so we've got plenty of electric up there so today I'm gonna try to finish up at least getting the uh, wood frame structure up here and getting the projector everything plugged in up above there no cords coming down and have that self-sufficient on the wall and see how that works by the end of the day today so stay tuned I'm a mess don't know how I got here, but I'm blessed. Didn't know it take me past my destiny. You're behind me with the rest. Cause I'm a man. All right, guys, we're going up with this beam now. I've got the one screw in that end. And this is like a one by six beam. I'm putting it up, it's lightweight. And this is just going to be the framing, part of the framing to hold our faux wood beam that's a lot more thicker. It's 12 inches tall by six inches deep. So let's get this other end up and see how it goes. Now I just got to put some ends on it here, an angled end going to that wall right there over to here and then also a cornered end that will go from here over to that wall, a 90 degree right there. All right guys, I got it all framed in for the faux wood beam. It's all squared and leveled off. Get you a closer look here, see what I did. Squared off here at a 90 degree angle, going back to the wall there. And it goes all the way down. Remember, this is just the framework. It's not even exactly the, the height that the lower beam, faux beam, will be at. The lower faux beam will be actually a little bit lower than this wood faux beam, than this wood frame beam, I should say. So I'll get you up here at a level eye view. The frame comes off there. That's a 45 degree angle there and goes across there. Now I still have to put the outlet in snake that in up here. We'll put a double outlet up here so all the projection and components can plug in up here. So by tonight, I should have this all uh, limited to everything plugged in and self-sufficient right at this height where the beam level is. And right now I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this 
beam frame since I'm on framing. Then I'll come back and add the outlet. I'm gonna tap off that outlet down there, I believe. Guys, this is going to be tricky. I'm going to have to uh, run this beam, the wood beam, from there where I've got that bracket already made up, that wood extension coming out. I'm going to probably duct tape it up there, right? Because I'm doing this myself. And then I've got a hinge going in back here. I've got some holes right here that I've drilled for toggle bolts. And I'm going to mount a hinge or a uh, L bracket right there. Then, so when I got that taped up with duct tape over there, the other end, I'll lift it up and then I can just put a bolt into it on this uh, L bracket right here. See how that works. Okay, here we go. Toggle bolts going in. bad. Just got to tighten them up now. And then see, I'll lift that wood piece after I duct tape it over there, believe it or not. I can just hold it up here and I'll have pre-drilled holes and just put some bolts right into these two uh, holes in this L bracket right here. Let me get this screwed in tight. What I did was I made myself a little temporary bracket shelf right there so I can set the end of that piece of wood, long wood, right onto here, kind of balance it up there while I get a one of the uh, bolts screwed into that angle bracket right there. Then I'll climb up over on this ladder and then uh, screw that drill, pre drill that, and screw that in over on these wood brackets. Guys, I got it. All right, it's up there held on that, just on that bracket shelf ledge I built until I get that, those wood beams screwed, pre-drilled and then screwed in together. So that worked out great. All right guys, take a look. Nicely done, I countersunk my holes. All those are screwed in together. Nice and sturdy. I can almost hang from this now. And that's screwed into the bracket over there. Just got to tighten up those bolts over there. And we're good to go. All right, guys, I got my outlet installed up there. I had to drill a hole here because there was a an intermediate stud going across here so I drilled down diagonally after going through the drywall had to do the same thing here and tapped off of this outlet right here so I'm just splicing these wires in here and then we will have power up there guys for all of our electronics no cords coming past down uh, past that screen area now what I did on my fireplace TV here my lift TV I have these new echo dots here I got one on each side and I actually paired them. You can see that one. So I, I paired them up with home theater within Amazon uh, app and they work great. I've been trying them out down here, but I'm gonna mount them up there so that they point out underneath that beam there and project into the room here. So I got these mounts here, Echo Gear mounts. Looks like they'll be perfect for our job in this situation and I can kind of angle those down one right and left so guys stay tuned I'll leave the links 
to these mounts and the echo dots in the description below. Well guys, that brings us here, the end of part three of entertainment walls, huge entertainment walls, part three. I hope you enjoyed it. And let's just do a recap. What we did is I started off here the other day installing the framework above for our faux wood beam to go up there and around this angle corner there. We got all of our equipment up off of the entertainment center. We're not going to have that anymore. This is going to be a faux stack stone wall as soon as the product comes in. And we've put everything up here, our sound bar, direct TV box, and our Alexa device up there. And everything's hooked into our Optima projector, ultra short throw projector going on to our screen here, which I think I'm going to paint, spray paint flat black so it doesn't stand out. It won't stand out because it'll be behind the beam, but if you're up here close, you might be able to see up under there. And I don't want that stark white framework to show. So I'll probably paint that today. <clears throat> Also, we got our framework for the faux beam above here, above the fireplace. Let's turn this fireplace on, by the way. Nice looking fireplace. So guys, uh, we also got our sound system mounted up here that will be covered to Alexa dots and they work great. I tried it out last night watching a TV show, Lost. I've never seen that uh, series before and I'm way deep into it now and i'm addicted to it i'm on season three so far anyway guys let's take a uh, look at these units in action with our smart devices and see how they actually operate guys if you haven't seen part one or part two of this to see how how we got here make sure to uh take a look at those parts and see how we managed to get to this point so far and if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss the final part, part four, which will be coming up next week. And if you like any of the products or things that I use in this video, I'll leave the links down below. And guys, I'll see you on the next video. Turn on projector. Raise TV. Possibility.